Well, welcome everybody to the online program for the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And this month uh, we're talking about impulsiveness. And in fact, what we'll get to by the end of this little series is that impulsiveness is actually rooted in a lack of meaning in life. Anyway, but that's for the end of the series. Right now, we've been talking about this idea of impulsiveness and the way impulsive people make sense of their world. They don't see it as continuous and constant. They see it rather as the series of opportunities, of frustrations, or sensual experiences. And so they, they jump into these things. If there's an opportunity, just jump for it. Uh, or if this is why a lot of them get frustrated, because there's, oh, do you saw, do something, but now oh, I got frustrated. And okay, off to the next thing. Right? And it's a series of like static uh, or eclectic or these uh, random little events that are happening in their lives. Now, if you think about this, it, it really makes sense about why an impulsive person would act on a whim or a hunch or uh, some half thought idea. Right? Now, if we look at happy people, happy people have a much different approach. Happy people tend to have a bigger picture of their life. Unlike an impulsive person who it's really quite remarkable, but they have very little outside interest, believe it or not. It's not like they'll follow art or they'll be totally involved in something. It's their world is much smaller and very self-centered. And as again, these actions, there's not a lot of deep, active, deliberate reflection on what's going on because everything, that's not what life is about for them, right? It's a series of opportunities, frustrations, experiences. Happy people, on the other hand, have this, usually have a bigger picture. So when they get a whim, they don't actually just act on it. They actually sort of in, integrate it into this bigger picture because they're operating from the, the big picture. They have, for example, they may have a goal in their life. Oh, I want to become a medical doctor or something. Who knows? And so they have an opportunity to go fishing on the weekend and then they'll measure it out. Well, geez, I'm in medical school and do I need it to study? Or if I do this, um, maybe, yeah, I can buy some time during the week to do some more studying to make up for the time I lost or, you know, something along that line. It's not just, they're not just going to leap into it because they have this bigger picture. But the impulsive person doesn't have that bigger picture. Again, I'm very typical. They don't have like huge outside interests. They don't pay a lot of attention to the, the future. So they don't have this bigger picture. So what they're left with is just this, oh, I got an idea, go fishing, great, let's go. Because there's nothing to integrate it into, no bigger picture. And this is actually uh, one of the, the, the basic uh, <coughs> characteristics of impulsive people is they don't have a lot of long-term planning, right? Because really that's not the way the world works for them. Anyway, that's uh, one example of what can happen when you have this view of yourself in the world that's just a series of opportunities, frustrations, and sensuous experiences. And next week, uh, we'll give you another one.